membership to anyone who can make a hole in one tomorrow? Oh boy, that's for me. <laughs> Hello? Yeah? A gig tomorrow? Oh, joy! Better practice my tuba playing. <laughs> Better practice my long drive. What's going on around here? Sorry there, neighbor. I'll just practice in the other direction. I'll have to drive at least 300 yards tomorrow. I better see how far this bad boy can fly. Some of my balls. Hmm. What comes in my yard stays in my yard. Ah, oh, come on. Be a sport and just give them back. I said no. Okay. I guess you just don't have it in you. Have what in me? You can't blow hard enough on that thing to send those balls back. Oh yeah. Watch. <laughs> Well, what do you know? You're a real big bag of air after all. My club. <laughs> Better get 40 winks if I want to be fresh on the links. Woodpecker's gonna do what a woodpecker's gotta do. I am Hans von Silencio, the greatest tuba player of all time. Yeah, I was passing by when I heard your playing. Oh, maestro, I have heard of your great... Silence! What your playing is missing is silence! You should be so good that the audience could actually fall and sleep in their chairs, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Shh. He loves my playing. Sleep well, Mr. Hans von... <laughs> <laughs> Woodpecker! 
Monsters up to tonight. Hmm? We're protecting the neighborhood from space aliens, Miss Me. Wanna help? Uh, no! And make sure you keep your aliens out of my yard. Okay, we will. Yeah, bye. You gotcha. Ow! Uh oh. Uh, sorry, Uncle Woody. We're watching out for aliens. Good night, you two. Don't bother me unless you actually bag an alien. Aliens. <laughs> ah, those kids. mission to fight an alien hiding out in this old house. Read all about it in the next issue, or perhaps in tomorrow's paper. Now, scram! Not it! If we help Buzz fight you, we could be in the next issue, too! Where did he go? <gasps> the alien! No! 
Ho, 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 ho. But hey, maybe you could help me. See, these particular baddies are using the uh, intergalactical appliance alliance to make themselves invisible. <coughs> all you gotta do to jam their invisibility frequency is to gather up all the radios, TVs, and stack them in the northeast corner of the house. Say here, by the back door. All right, go Buzz Flightgear! Yeah, to affinity and beyond. <laughs> hey, Mothead, don't aliens like to hide under beds and in dark places? Yeah, let's set a trap. We can get the radios and stuff later. Bertha, now let's go bust that appliance alliance. And what self-respecting penny pincher doesn't like hiding her goodies under the mattress? Sometimes my job is just too easy. Good. Help! Help me! The alien must have taken over his body. Close call, eh, Buzz? Huh? Oh, yeah, good job. Now all you gotta do is keep away from me. Ah, I mean, keep it away from me. Here, take this, and this, and take all this. Just keep yourselves busy. Make yourselves the world's most powerful alien eradicator. trying to do is rob the joint, peaceably like. You mean you're not a friend of Zack Zobar's? A crook shouldn't have to go through what these kids put me through. <laughs> I was just, and the kids were just. <laughs> See, kids, I told you there was no such thing as aliens. <sighs> now let's get some shot eye. General store where our saying is if we don't have it, buy something else. What do you need, pal? I need supplies for gold mining. Gold mining? Yeah, my great grandpappy was Feathers Mac Pecker, gold miner extraordinaire, and I have his secret map. Then what you need is a guide. Someone who's wood smart, knows how to pack light, and won't let you end up on dives for a bear. I come with the supply. Fear. Since I'm gonna be your guide, maybe I ought to take a look-see at that map. Sorry, it's top secret. Whew! All that hiking has made me smell kind of foul. Bath time! I'll have that 
map in no time. <laughs> oh, my grandpa, oh, my grandpa, oh, my grandpa, he was swell. He left to me a secret gold mine, but he told me not to tell. What a sucker, what a sucker, what a sucker at the set. I'm gonna swim up right behind you. So don't get steer, don't get mad. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Seems I've got too many hands. Hey, what do you think you're doing with that? <laughs> I guess anything you want to do with it. You seem like a very busy bear. Places to go, people to eat, Nazi around. <laughs> Now's my chance to get that map and ditch this chop. I keep the map, bub. But I'll need to see it so I know where's to let you, uh, us off. We need to get off right up ahead. Good. I'll have us there in. Ah! Ah! Oh, no! If he goes over those falls, I'm gonna lose that map. Oh, I made it! Huh? Oh, Mr. Guide! Bye-bye! The fall's not so bad. It's the bottom that'll get you. Fall! <laughs> A good guide always leads the way. The trick to getting across a rope bridge is to travel light. Okay, now throw my stuff over! Now throw all your heavy things! Taking it with me. You win, Buzz. You win. Just please, please, whatever you do, don't put me in that cage. Oh, please, Buzz, no. Don't leave me here. So long, sucker. Ground floor, going up. <laughs> Do 
Thanks Yo. for carrying the load. I'll take it from here. now grant you three wishes. Woo-wee! But I reserve the right to change modifier to determine the nature, content, and quality of said wishes. Your sign here, initial here, stamp here, fill in the blank, carry the two, 6.7 APR. I'll sign whatever you want. Whoa! And now my first wish is for some water to get me and my baby back on the road. Then I'll think about what else I want, Genie. <laughs> Hmm, this simple glass of water is not good enough for my master's car. Hey, what's the big idea? <laughs> hmm, what I am thinking is my master's water should be fresh. It should be the freshest water in the world. From a Swedish fjord. <laughs> Maybe we... You're the worst genie I've ever met. I wish I was the genie. I'd show you how it was done. Oh man, I wasted my wish. But hey, this place has everything I could have wished for. And you know, some guys can't pull off the harem pants look. <laughs> Okie dokie, Woodpecker. Fine. Now I get three wishes, yeah? Sounds like a lot of work to me, buddy. Get lost. Give me that. My wishes. I read the lamp. I want my wishes. It's all about you, isn't it? All right. I'll give you anything your heart desires. <laughs> I wish to be a new me. You mean a makeover? Yeah. I want a new head of hair, a washboard stomach, and, and I want to be reigning king of Sweden. Your wish is my command. A new head of hair. <laughs> a washboard stomach. <laughs> and now you're the reigning king of Sweden. <laughs> I get you. <laughs> Yeeny Woodpecker! Ah! Hmm. How will I ever find my magic lamp? Eureka! I wish for, hmm, a three-story house. 
Oh, joy. My own three-story house. A dream come true. Yeah. And I'll give you a personal tour. This is the first story, Goldilocks. Check out these comfortable chairs. <laughs> no, too stuffy. <laughs> no, too conformy. <laughs> what do you know? Just right. How about some porridge? No, too hot. Too cold. Having fun yet? Yeah! Liar! Now listen up, Pinocchio. The only thing for little wooden boys to worry about in the real world is woodpeckers. Chin chin. Oh, no. Ah, now back to some relax. Hey, where'd my mansion in a lamp go? Oh, Woodpecker. Hey, give me that. I believe it's time for my third wish. And I wish to be the Yeeny again. Now I get a wish, see? And I wish I was the Yeeny again. No, I want to be the Yeeny. No, I no, I'm the Yeeny. No, me. Me, 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 Easy, what's up with that? Stole a fortune from Tut and hid it in his own booby trap tomb, which has been lost for centuries. It's said to hold a laughing curse that will reduce anyone who tries to take the treasure into a giggling fool. <laughs> Egypt is so fascinating. Oh, if I were an archaeologist, I'll bet I could find that lost tomb and become world famous. Oh, my last quarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found the hieroglyphic stone that will point the way to the hidden tomb and all its treasure. Now, when is the expert coming to help me with the translation? <laughs> what are you doing? What kind of expert are you? I have spent five long years of painful digging here. Five years? No wonder. Look at the tools you've been using. And look, how do you expect to pick up all this sand? <laughs> You've got this vacuum on reverse. Vacuums are for cleaning. How did you find it so quickly? Oh, I just knew where to dig. Ooh, look, Professor. Is he the court jester? Yeah, Izzy. I asked you first, who is he? No, Izzy. That's what I'm asking you. Is he the court jester? He's the court jester, Izzy. Yeah, Izzy? What's up with that? Exactly! Izzy, what's up with that? Yeepers. Mm, I don't have time for this. I must explore the tomb. Ooh, exploration of a tomb. This is my expedition. I lead the way, and what I find is all mine. Okay? Okay. Professor, be careful! It's common knowledge that pyramids are booby-trapped. And don't forget about the laughing curse! <laughs> booby-traps. Curses. 
A bunch of tourist trash. treasure is. A court jester would know all kinds of jokes. Let's see. Uh, why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? <laughs> wow, that really is the oldest joke in the world. <laughs> hmm, she's the expert. The treasure must be that way. Or maybe the treasure is this way. Okay, okay. Or maybe it goes up. Enough with the nibble nibble. Mayday! Mayday! My expedition has been cursed by Haveco! Send help! Now! Hmm... No... Wait a minute... Push for treasure! Oh my! If there's treasure, it must be in there! and I found all this. First day? No, no. This is my life's work. My archaeological goal. The treasure of Easy What's Up With That is mine. <laughs> Pies in the face, punchy punchy gloves, piranhas, suction darts, and a mummy. I did the chicken cross the road to find my discovery. <laughs> yep, you're right to call this in. The guy is a wacko. <laughs> no, no, uh, she's the wacko. <laughs> she's the one. Can't you tell? <laughs> he must have caught the laughing curse. I tried to warn him. Day. Remember, food lovers, souffles are fragile little things. They need a calm, quiet mind, or they could collapse. What? <laughs> I know. I'll throw a bagpipe appreciation day party. The likes of wets the Scottish has never seen. What pecker? I heard that! Your lease specifically says no parties. They're noisy, and I'm trying to bake a souffle. 
which requires quiet! No! Parties! <laughs> now, how can I have a party with a pooper like Meanie around? Sometimes, if you want to beat him, you gotta join him. Inspector Decibel, noise police. Noise police? We're affiliated with the CIA, the FBI, the EIEIO, and all other abbreviated government agencies. Hmm, the government. That's right, ma'am. You'll tip the woodpecker. We got a major file on this dirty bird. <laughs> I'm going to need your help to silence this noisemaker once and for all. Well, I'll do anything it takes, Inspector. I'll watch him like a hawk. Catch him in the act. Then I'll grill him like a steak. I like your spunk. Maybe when this is over, you and me. Oh, it's Inspector. <laughs> Stay in here and keep Woody on round-the-clock watch. Do not leave your post no matter what you see, ma'am. And then report everything back to me tomorrow. Is that clear? Affirmative, Inspector. <laughs> Party time. <laughs> Surveillance is a dirty job, and somebody's gotta do it. Party Central, book me your all termite band and deliver the biggest party tank you got. Party Central. Great. Did you bring the tent? Woody! What's that tent about? That treehouse you're renting me has termites. Rare musical termites. You don't understand me. You think that I'm a freak. Taken care of. You don't understand me. You think that I'm a freak. Musical termites? Ha! <laughs> There's something fishy going on, and I'll get to the bottom of it. That woman's like a bad rash. She just keeps coming back. Whoa! Inspector, am I glad to see you. We need to get inside that tent. Good thinking. Come on. Follow this stream. Hang a left on Willow. Make a U-turn on third, turn right on first, and come right up inside that woodpecker's elevator shaft. Got it? Good. Go. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> Ah, twas nothing, you and put the topper to this. Already, I will. Say no more beating around the bush to catch this woodpecker, Ms. Meanie. You mean? Yep, we're going in loud and we're going in proud. But Inspector Decibel, I don't know how to parachute. There's only two rules. Do this. Don't do this. Got it? Good. I'll have you down the chimney before you can say Merry Christmas. <laughs> Woodpecker, woodpecker, you make me scream! Woodpecker, woodpecker!
Appropriation Day. A day to be a loud, proud Scotsman, laddie. Oi! <laughs> What do you know? It's finally Father's Day! Mwah! The day of our annual father-son tea-off, Pops! No matter how crazy Dad makes me, this year, I'll be the one taking home the trophy. Boyo! Are you ready for our annual father-son golf tournament? <laughs> <laughs> You betcha, Pop. Rest assured, laddie. The trophy is going home with me. Just like it does every year. We'll see about that, Pop. And none of your shenanigans, boy of mine. I'm going to beat you fair and square by the 18th hole. You're on, Pops. Anybody thinking of golfing should think again. There will be a major thunderstorm this afternoon. I have a feeling I'm gonna get what I'm really after by the 18th hole. Now, watch how a master tears off. Oh, yeah. Not bad at all, Pops. Now watch this. Whoa, there Oh, the love of Mike, laddie. Are you planning to whack the ball or kiss it? You're aiming to knock its lights out, laddie. Get mad! <laughs> Let me help you. Now. No! Oh, yeah. That trophy's all but mine. Sure. If it was a trophy for best divot digger. Trophy's mine. A record storm is heading our way. Golfers, be advised. Rain's coming. I'd better speed this along so we can get to the 18th hole in time. can say is you'll have to play the ball where it lies, Boyo. You're really in it now, son. You'll never clear these bushes. With that shot, I'm one stroke closer to the trophy. Excuse me, does this ball belong to either of you? It is not my ball. It is an English ball, and I only use Scottish. Rude uses English balls. Oh, 
You know, I wouldn't go out in a storm dress like that. Well, what do you know about that? This is no rain. It's just a mist. Play on, lad. But, Pop, the McPeckers are golfers, not swimmers. Ah, there's a wee bit of water that scares you, then. <laughs> come on, swing already. Come on, come on. Moody boy, speak to me. Speak to your old dad. <laughs> I did this to him. I pushed him too hard. I don't deserve to wear this cow. I don't deserve this one as well, Cappy. Son, I only want you to know. Oh, thank the great kilt giver, you're all right. Is there anything I can do for you, Sonny? Well, I might be back to my old self if I had that trophy, Pop. Sure, sure, my sonny boy. Anything. It's yours for the year. Keep it. Really? Thanks, Pop. I got the trophy. I got the trophy. What? You weren't even struck then, eh? You were just fooling your old puppy the whole time. No! My trophy! <laughs> sure thing, boy -o. That'll look great on your mantle for the rest of the year. <laughs> Cadet Space Cadet Splinter. Come in, Splinter. I have the killer asteroid in sight. Roger that, Cadet Nodhead. We have to do something before it destroys the Earth. My Zack Zobar East Alien Hunter Fomerang should do the job. Yay! We saved the Earth! Uh-oh! Ah! There's only so many space missions one uncle can take. This is not gonna go on all summer, I can tell you that. Maybe you could send us to the Zack Zobar Summer Space Camp, Uncle Woody. Do you have any idea what summer camp costs these days? <laughs> 300 bucks a week? Can we go, Uncle Woody? Please, please, please? Can we, can we? Well, what do you know? I have exactly $45. Only enough to send your beaks to that camp. Perfect. Forty-five bucks is all I need. <laughs> then I'll have enough to go to Bora Bora. Well, hello there, sucker. I mean, sir. Looking to send the little ones off to camp this summer? You bet. Well, at Camp Buzzard, we train youngsters to be fine, upstanding buzzard scouts. Uh, space cadets. I've never heard of Camp Buzzard. What do kids do at this camp anyway? Is it expensive? There's overhead, room and board, luxury tax, equestrian fee, and you always have to consider the end. About 50 bucks. But we're having a deal this week only. Two for 45. 45 bucks? Sold! Counselor Buzz, they're all yours. Welcome to Camp Buzzard, kids. Gee, it doesn't look like much. This is an exact replica of Planet Junko Rama. Really? Cool. Do we get camp nicknames like they do at Zack Zobar's camp? Eh, uh, nicknames? Uh, sure. You'll be 102373, and you can be 102374. That was my old nickname at camp. What kind of camps have you been to? I went to, uh, Camp Folsom. I mean, Camp Alcatraz. Uh, I mean, Camp Pokey. Yeah, Camp Hokey Pokey. Now go play. <laughs> Bora Bora, here I come. We're Bora Bored! We came here to be space cadets. Huh? Uh-oh, sure. In order to be space cadets, you gotta earn a bunch of merit badges. 
Here, this is for your weightless training merit badge. What are those? Anti-gravity boots? Yeah, they belong to my favorite auntie, gravity. Wait, what about seatbelts? What about navigational equipment? How will we know where to go? Follow the sun. You'll be close enough. But how will we steer? That's so easy, even a woodpecker can do it. All you gotta do is pull the release pin. <laughs> We're hungry now, Counselor Buzz. Yeah, well, you know, a good Buzzard Scout space cadet learns how to survive on any planet. You gotta hunt for food. Oh, boy, we'll catch a bear for dinner. Sure, a good Buzzard Scout space cadet spends hours making a trap for the, uh, I spent hours making a trap merit badge. We can cover a hole with palm leaves. Or roll a 10-ton boulder down a hill. Or string up a 50-mile net. I think they have now officially earned their sucker merit badge. <laughs> Oh, drop a boulder, yeah! Perchance, an incoming net? <laughs> when you're good, you're me. No, it couldn't be. <laughs> what are you little... Buzzard Scout's doing now? At camp, we're supposed to have rides! Like canoeing or horseback riding. Or how about a rocket to the moon? Yay! Go get your space helmets and get ready for the last merit badge you'll ever need. Here on Earth. Take off in T minus 10. Zero! That's one small step for woodpeckers and one giant leap towards my vacation! <laughs> Take him home. I'll give you all your money back. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. No please. dice. We had a deal. 45 bucks and you'd take care of him for the whole summer. Please, I'll give you triple. <sighs> take everything I got. Just take him back. Please. <laughs> Goodbye, Counselor Buzz. Why so glum, campers? Don't you want to go to the Zack Zobar Summer Space Camp? Yeah, yeah, go on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boy, oh boy. Let's see. I pack there and there. And wow, I pecked there, all right. Okay, Scouts, that ends our tour of the petrified forest with trees that are 10 million years old and as hard as rocks. <laughs> now, let's go see some amazing redwoods. Petrified forest that way. Hmm, I'd better go the other way. Unpack trees, and they're all for me. Woo! -hoo! <laughs> oh, why, I feel rather strange. What am I doing in this wretched place? I'd better head back to civilization. 
<laughs> oh my, it's so lovely. I can't wait for all the little birdies to... <gasps> Hold it right there, woodpecker. This bird bath is not for you, so forget it. Why, I wouldn't dream of being so bold. I was merely admiring the craftsmanship. Flat the river get you nowhere. I am not cleaning up that mess of yours. I'm so sorry, dear neighbor. I had no idea I was so inconsiderate. I'll take care of that mess. I... I can't believe it. You've seen the error of your ways. Maybe now we can live in harmony. Of course we can. Woody and Wally, friends, neighbors, and brothers. <sighs> I can't believe it took us so long to see how alike we really are. Astonishing, isn't it? That's game. What? But I have never lost a game of Swedish checkers. I am the reigning champion. It was just luck, old chum. I'm sure you'll win the next game. Well, how about a more challenging game? Raised pole climbing is my favorite game. Last one to the top is a third. <laughs> almost had me. I don't get it. I always win at Swedish games. Tut tut, old boy. You're always a winner in my eyes. Oh, by the way, Wallace, you must clean and prepare for the festivities this evening. <laughs> Are you almost ready, old chum of mine? I'm so thankful for your kind invitation to the Swedish smorgasbord. I stand a good chance of winning Speed of the Year Award. I've dreamt of this moment my whole life. And now for the moment we have all waited for. The Speed of the Year Award. We have chosen a man of class, distinction, and character. Yeah, and the winner is Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> no, this is mistake. He is not even Swedish. It is mine. This award goes to Woody Woodpecker. He is an imposter! I am the Woody Woodpecker! No! No! I am Speed of the Year! I am Speed of the Year! H hello? Doctor? Yeah, please help me. I can't stand him anymore. Yeah, well, what seems to be the problem? It's that woodpecker. He's all nice and civilized. He is ruining my life. What are the symptoms? Well, well, he, he's courteous. He cleans up after himself, and he wins at everything I do. Sounds to me like his head's all jumbled up. What you need to do is rejumble his head. Oh, yeah. Thank you, doctor. I think I have a plan. Woody, wake up. I have a treat for you. My dear Wally, you shouldn't have. Well, civilized or not, I'm still a woodpecker. Hey, what are you looking at? 
looking at? Oh, nothing. Say, Voody, would you mind raking my yard? It seems your tree has dropped leaves all over it. What? Forget it, bub. <laughs> Something should never change. <laughs>